Triple Face Trump's blank recipient in the United States, County Cop, has died at V7, more than a decade after the groundbreaking operation. County Cop celebrated a vibrant woman and an inspiration to many. Miss Cop died this week, age 57. She was the fourth person in the world to receive a face transplant. The Cleveland Clinic, where her surgery had been performed in 2008, said Ms. Kalp died on Wednesday, U.S. time, at the Ohio Clinic of Complications from an infection unrelated to her transplant. Frank Pepe, who is the chairman of Cleveland Clinic's Dermatology and Plastic Surgery Institute and was part of Ms. Kalp's surgical team, called her an incredibly brave, vibrant woman and an inspiration to many. Her strength was evident in the fact that she had been the longest living face transplant patient to date, Dr. Pape said in a statement. She was a great pioneer, and her decision to undergo a sometimes daunting procedure is an enduring gift for all of humanity. Miss Culp's husband shot her in the face in 2004 in a failed murder-suicide attempt for which he was imprisoned for seven years. The blast destroyed her nose, shattered her cheeks and shut off most of her vision. Miss Culp underwent 30 operations to try to fix her face. Doctors took parts of her ribs to make cheekbones and fashioned an upper jaw from one of her leg bones. She had countless skin grafts from her thighs. Still, she was left unable to eat solid food, breathe on her own, or smell. In December 2008, Maria Simeo now led a team of doctors in a 22-hour operation to replace 80% of Miss Culp's face with bone, muscles, nerves, skin and blood vessels from a donor, Anna Casper. Two photos, one of Connie Cobb before surgery and the second is after groundbreaking surgery. Connie Cobb suffered extensive injuries, left in the shooting and received a new face December 2008. Cleveland Clinic, AFP. It was the fourth face transplant in the world, though the others were not as extensive. After the operation, her expressions were a bit wooden and her speech was at times difficult to understand, but she could talk. Smile, smell and taste her food again. In 2011, Dr. Simeono said Miss Culp had a normal face after doctors refined the droopy jowls and extra skin they purposely left to make checkup biopsies easier. She's smiling, she's perfect. When she jokes, she kind of flickers her eyes. Her face is vivid. You can see emotions, Dr. Simeono said. Miss Culp made several television appearances and became an advocate for organ donation. Two years after her operation, Miss Culp met with the family of Miss Casper, the donor, who had died of a heart attack. Miss Culp told local media the family were just really nice people. Miss Casper's 23-year-old daughter, Becky Casper, said she could see part of her mother in Miss Culp, though their bone structures were different. I can definitely see the resemblance in the nose, she said. I know she's smiling down on this, that she's very happy.